curious about the findings of the survey that suggest that the people who use LinkedIn and Facebook are more socially interactive, politically active, and more trusting. And the question would be, were they that way before they began to use social networks? Or do you think that social networks are contributing and cultivating those positive qualities in their users? That's a reference to some other research that we did and put out about a month ago that talked about the usually positive social and political outcomes that were associated with social networking use, especially in Facebook. Facebook users had more close friends. They got more social support than other people, much more likely to be politically active in their world, much more likely to offer help uh, to their friends. And MySpace users, uh, strikingly enough, were more likely than average folks to be open to diverse points of view. So one of the concerns about the impact of social networks is people are cocooning themselves in echo chambers and, and are not and increasingly not open to other people's points of views. And the, the causation question is a big one in this. Is it, is it people who are already disposed to be open-minded and social and active in their communities using new tools that allow them to be more of what they already are, or do these new tools somehow uh, make a difference to them? And the answer is probably both. We don't have longitudinal data uh, that would t measure people's individual change over time. What we do know about uh, the social networking environment, more Facebook than in other places, is that people have somewhat bigger networks. Uh, they can just cultivate more relationships as they are friending people and, and friending friends of people and encountering people in different circumstances and then bringing them into their lives. So they, they tend to have somewhat bigger networks and more importantly, they have more diverse networks. One of the ways to counteract echo chambers is to just have a lot of different people, not only by race and ethnicity, but that's really important, but by age, by socioeconomic status and things like that. And so our sense is that people are aware of more things when they're in social networking spaces. They're also just aware more generally of what their friends are doing. And sometimes it's a, it's a surprise to them that their friends are politically active and their friends are, are doing things in politics because they wouldn't necessarily have known that in the, in the pre-internet environment. So there's some sort of networking encouragement that, in, that if you're in a network of people who are politically active, you will just more likely be so because that's sort of the, the ethic of your tribe. Um, so it's, it, it goes in both directions. I don't think everyone's ever going to get to the bottom of it, but, um, uh, but for, for, for the purposes of our research, those who are in these spaces just get benefits out of them that sort of cut against some of the suspicions that people had that, that they are isolating people, that they are diminishing friendships, that they are removing people from their communities.